So what is this fake anime actually about? Well, the premise is that there's a group of girls and other adjacent creatures who enroll to a magical school where they'll train to be quote-unquote guardians. Which means they'll be guarding something, I guess. It's never truly explained. The premise itself is already as hackneyed as it comes, devoid of any flavor or vision of its own. Just like 90% of anime. But in any case, we open on a golden sunrise, as the primary protag duo of our tale, Rosemary and Sage, are about to set out from their humble quiet hometown to the bustling capital of the land, where they'll attend the esteemed academy of the magical guardians for confusing and never fully explained reasons. Character introductions are a pivotal point of any story, especially when it comes to your protags. You only get to make first impressions once. So let's see how the show decides to sell their most essential characters to us. Sage, it's finally here! Can you believe it? I almost can't. We've been preparing our, oh. our whole lives for this day. Did you pack your teeth? Tooth? Your toothpaste. Ooh, I'm nervous. We'll scale mountains and fight mermaids and explore precipices and crevices and... and... We'll be totally fearsome dudes. <laughs> <laughs> totally fearsome dudes. Hi, Guardian! Whoa! <sighs> Putting aside the fact that our protag just fell down after bumping into a ghost... The dialogue is absolutely dreadful right from the beginning. The first seconds of the show, and it's just pure auditory diarrhea. The entire attempted premise is painfully clear, Oh hee hee, look at us, aren't we silly and quirky and unassuming and likeable when we say nonsensical stuff? Yeah, the problem comes from the fact that I believe none of it. It's so clearly written to be quirky for the sake of being quirky. There's no natural flow between the remarks, it's just one stupid non sequitur comment after the other. No one talks like this. And furthermore, why the hell are you having this conversation now? You have already met up earlier, walked from your homes for who knows how long side by side, and are just now suddenly declaring your excitement for the journey to come? In the most boring obvious way possible? And the forced dialogue is only the first half of this shit introduction Sunday. As you surely noticed, our fearless main heroine is so retarded that she managed to trip over herself whilst walking down a smooth, clean dirt road with no kind of obstacle in sight. Now there is an easy explanation for this. You see, it has been widely accepted in the anime pillow-humping troglodyte community that girls being clumsy and silly and all-around derp makes them totally... <coughs> Kawaii desune. You'll excuse my lacking fluidity in weep linguistics. It basically means dumb girls are cute. I have personally never subscribed to this mentality, partly due to the fact that my brain chemistry is in fact in working order, and as such I only get annoyed when people act retarded. And also from the general why sensation it gives off. There's something off about the whole thing. In a well-written scenario, giving a character the attribute of clumsy can work. If it is truly a core aspect of their being, it should inform future scenarios as well, lead into conflict, be a hindrance to the character when trying to achieve their goals, and so forth. However, that is not the case here. Rosemary's alleged clumsiness, as seen in her introduction, is only placed there in a superficial attempt to gather titters and goodwill from the audience. Oh, well isn't she a humble fun bundle of joy? As the series progresses, Rosemary showcases clumsiness only when the show requires it, which is always some lame and tired slapstick routine with no relevance to the story. Whenever there's anything important to be done to progress the narrative, Rosemary is always perfectly capable and never fails because of her alleged derpness. The introduction of the character is in direct opposition to her actual portrayal in the rest of the show. So to put it simply, the creators of the show make Rosemary fall to the ground only to make her seem more funny and happy-go-lucky and all-around appealing. Stolen from the show's an aesthetic they try to emulate, executed as shallow as it can be. 
and it's not helped by the fact that the main heroine of the show sounds like her balls are about to drop. <gasps> no! Why on earth would you give your lady protagonist the voice of Ash motherfucking Ketchum? Do you realize that I'm forced to listen to that ear raping shit for the next four hours? Four hours of this. Wanna go see the market? And the gardens. And the castle. We don't need seats. We're future guardians. Wah! I like being surprised. Wah! I like being surprised. Wah! We're guardians in training. Wanna go see the I market? Sit on each other's Wah! Wah! And the castle. At the same time. My friend. <laughs> <laughs> you. From the very beginning, the show tips its hand as being utterly derivative, lacking any genuine heart or vision. It's just incompetence throughout. This is the standard we are going with. Strap in for a painful ride. Oh, 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 and Sage? She has the personality of a hanky that's been blown into. By Joe Biden. <laughs>